Hi, I'm Richard Rosen. Here we are at the end of April, and we're going to do a show this year on honeybees. So behind me I have a honeybee, a Langstroth hive. They were actually invented by Reverend Langstroth in 1852. So yesterday um, I picked up my bee packages, which you'll see soon, um, and we're going to install them today. We didn't install them yesterday because the weather was bad, it was rainy, it was cold, and and all the beekeepers that I know decided to wait one day more and, um, and install them today. So I'm a beekeeper and I have been for a few years, but let me explain that there are many, many beekeepers out there who are much more knowledgeable than me um, and have been doing it much longer than I am. So hopefully during the course of this year, when we follow the bee and we follow the honey trail, um, we're gonna get to interview some of these other beekeepers uh, who have much more experienced than I do. Uh, I have found in my short term as a beekeeper that if you ask three beekeepers the same question, you're going to get five different answers. Uh, and it, it is an amazing um, creature to follow. It's just, it's fascinating. The life of a bee and a honeybee is, it's really amazing. I actually had been researching them and studying them for a long time and then finally a few years ago decided I'm going to get a hive. So this year I'm going to have five hives. Um, I installed two packages this morning and we're going to install three this afternoon. And the two that I installed, there are different methods of installing a package into a hive. Um, I've watched a dozen videos on YouTube on how to install a package. And all 12 of the episodes were different. And I had never actually shaken bees into the hive and I did this morning and I wanted to do it before we went on camera to see what the result was. So I think this afternoon we're just going to put the package into the, into the hive. I think it's less stressful for the bee and it's certainly less stressful for us. Um, so I picked up the packages yesterday uh, and I buy them through, as does most everybody else around here, through the Plymouth County Beekeepers Association, which is an amazing organization. Uh, it's a great group of people. They're headquartered in Hanson. Uh, they run meetings every month and I just finished a 10-week class that they had. Um, it's very educational. They have a number of guest speakers uh, and it's helpful for the, for the first-time beekeepers. But yesterday when we picked up the, um, the packages, we picked them up at, at this location and there was 900 packages in this garage. Well, a package, as you'll soon see, holds between six and 7,000 bees. They weigh three pounds. So if you figure out 900 of them, times six or seven thousand there was over five million and probably closer to seven million bees in this guy's garage yesterday. Uh, again it's fascinating and hopefully during the course of this year um, because we don't go into the hive that often. You, don't, you, you put the bees in you don't want to bother them that much but during the course of the year you'll see um, you'll see the different stages of what the bees do in their lifetime and it's really pretty incredible. Let's go see a package. So these are the packages that we spoke about a couple of minutes ago. And in each package, there's roughly six to 7,000 bees. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this down back and install this package into the hive. Our goal is for these six or 7,000 bees to become 40 or 50,000 bees by May or June. So the more bees, obviously the better. It's a stronger hive, produces more honey. It's better for the environment because without bees, we're all in big trouble. Uh, and our goal is to keep the bees alive and to produce as many of them as we possibly can. So we're going to go down back, we're going to take that top off, and we're going to pull the queen out, show you what the queen looks like uh, in her little traveling box. And do those two in the back? Yep. We'll just set one of them down. We'll do the one on the left first. Just set it, we'll just set him right here for a second. So we're going to get this ready for the installation of the actual bees. And this is my wife, Kathy, who's going to help us 
uh, throughout the series. We have the top telescoping cover. We have the top feeder that goes on, and this will change as time goes on because we have to feed the bees now. We feed them sugar water, but as the season goes on, um, they won't need us to, to supplement or feed them uh, because they'll be getting all the nectar and pollen that they can bring back. So we're going to take out, actually we're not going to take out, we're going to take out one in the middle, which is where we're going to put the queen. And because we're installing this a little bit different, we don't have to take out any of the other frames. So we're going to get two elastics. We're going to get a couple of elastics ready. We're going to get the hive tool. It's my, it's my toolbox over here. Um, and we're going to put... You need to put this on top, right? Yeah, but let's, why don't you bring the bees over? Mm. And we're going to put... We're going to attach the queen to this frame and we're going to put elastics around the, the box so she doesn't fall in because the queen stays in a, the queen travels in a little box, a little cage with some attendants, which I'll show you in a minute, and she's slowly released into the hive. If she wasn't, the other bees in the hive would probably kill her. So it takes four or five days. Um, for all the bees in the hive to get used to their new mother. Um, so what we're going to do is now I'm going to put this on. We're going to open the hive. I mean, we're going to open the package. To get to the queen. So what we're going to do... Does this have the can in it too? Yeah. So we're going to pry this off. So what we have here is we have the queen is in here. So now when I take that out, there's going to be some bees escaping and there's going to be the queen. But what we want to do is we want to take out these staples, which are about a foot long. So I'm just going to cut one of them because I need to slide the, uh, I need to slide that board back over. All right, so these are the traveling bees that came up with us. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take out the queen. But before we do that, we're going to get this ready to put back on here because bees are going to come out. We're going to shake these bees in here. And we want to make sure there's the queen. There's a green spot on her. So she has attendant bees with her that have traveled with her for a couple of days. And believe it or not, there's a piece of candy in here. This end has a cock in it. And this end has candy. So we want to make sure the queen is alive, which she is. We take this thing off. Pry it off. So then what we do is, so these, the candy is in there. What happens is the bees will eat through the candy and she'll be released into the hive. So what we're going to do is you obviously want the candy facing up because if a attendant bee died, the queen couldn't get out. So we face it up. Pull that aside just a little bit. All right, we're going to take these tools and put them down here. And we're going to put the queen into the hive, like so. You know what? Just move that back a little bit. I'm going to move her over one more. And these are perfectly spaced apart. It's all about bee space. So the queen is in there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the sugar water out, and I'm going to tip the box over on its side so the bees will then come out of this box that they travel in and fill in the frames in the hive and they'll go in there because of the queen uh, because the queen is in there 
So, there's going to be a few bees kicking around here in a minute. So, you might want to back up a little. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. All right, so let me just move this just a little bit. And this is the hardest part of all, is getting this out. I'll put the cover over it. So these bees, are, this is sugar water that they've been feeding on since they came up. We're going to put that over here. And now what we're going to do is just, I'm not going to tip it over yet. We're going to move this over here because we're going to lay it on its side. All right? Oops, excuse me. But we're going to put a box on it. Let me tip it over. Let me yeah, turn tip it over. it over. Yeah. And bring it to the edge. Back to here. Right to there. All right. Move your hand. All right. So this way, um, we're going to tip it over, I think. All the way over? Yeah. Take, the, take the thing off? Take the thing off. That's stuck on the staple. Hold on. Yeah, just lift the box up a little. All right. So that hive is in there. Now we're going to put the top feeder on. We're going to fill that top feeder with sugar water. And the bees can come from down below up to it. Um, and we're going to come back and check this hive in a day or so to make sure that the bees are all out of the box. And we'll take the box, the, the package out. Um, let me get some sugar water. So we're going to fill these troughs, and the design of these new top feeders is really good. Um, so the bees come from underneath up see the bees are inside. In see, here. they're already coming up, and they'll walk down the sides to, to drink. These hold a couple of gallons of sugar water. Come over the side. You can see it better. Oh, they're coming up and over. And now... We're going to put the top cover on, and it's done. And that was pretty easy and pretty stressless. Now you put a little bit of grass in here for a day or so to kind of protect them um, from what they call robbers. Um, but that was pretty easy and not really that stressful and not violent for the bees. Um, I particularly would rather do it this way than the shaking of the bees. And what we have is right now all the bees are in there. We'll go look at the ones that, that I shook this morning and there's still a number of bees outside the hive. So now we're ready to do this hive. And we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to take off the top cover. And we're going to take off the top feeder. And we're going to... See, these are, these are older that we've left in here, and they actually have honey on them, and they build out faster, um, which is really good. Um, it's really good for the bees, and it's, it gets the whole process started faster. It's a hive tool. All right, so we're going to attach the queen to that I need a couple of elastics we're going to do the exact same thing kind of place it in the middle and we need to um, Okay, put that down there. 
and we're gonna grab this. take this off. It stays here. Um, uh -huh, put it in my pocket. It's in this pocket. So we're gonna okay, let's take that one out. All right, so I'm gonna take the queen and Kathy's gonna cover the hole again real quick. And there's the queen with the green dot and her attendant bees. So what we're going to do is we're once again going to take this off. There's the candy in there and these bees will eat the candy and she'll be released in a couple of days. So again, candy up, put a couple of elastics on it. These bees will gravitate, just slide that back a little bit. One more. I'm gonna put the fur in there. And I'm gonna take out the sugar water. And we're gonna do the same thing all over again. Um, I think I need to, excuse me. I need to get over here. This is a very... All right. So we'll put the sugar water over here and whoop. We're gonna put this on top. And again, we're gonna come back into this hive tomorrow or the next day to see if all the bees are out of the box, out of the package. Um, we'll just take that right off. And we're gonna just tip this over right there. And all those bees, if you watch, these bees will start coming out of there. Um, they'll start coming right out of this package and they'll go right into the frames because the, uh, the queen is in there. So Kathy's gonna put the top feeder on. So you can see them coming out right now. They're marching out of there. We're gonna put the top feeder on. And I've gotta go up and get, um, I did not bring the sugar water for this one, but I'm gonna go get it. And then what will happen during the course of the season will be that this empty box will come off. Um, the empty box will come off. The top feeder will stay there for a while. And then as the year goes on, we will be adding uh, other supers for honey and brood uh, on top of this. Uh, and you'll see as the season goes on. I'm gonna put a little grass right here. So these two hives here are the ones that I installed the packages this morning, but I installed them differently than what we just saw. I installed them by shaking the bees in. Um, I had never tried it before. And as you can see, the boxes or the packages are both empty. So all the bees have left the packages to go into the hives. But I don't know if I particularly like it. There's a lot of bees flying around where over there, they're all in the hive right now. And it might've been a little more traumatic on the bees. Um, I think just tipping them over and letting them walk in is probably the best way to go. That's my opinion. And like I said, if you ask three beekeepers the same question, you're gonna get five different answers. But as you can see, there's a lot more outdoor activity um, than there was on the two packages that we just installed.
still plenty of Just a tad. Okay, just lay it down. Yeah, I want to do it the other way. Yeah, with the bat over the edge. Yep, just like that. So we've just successfully, we hope, uh, finished installing the fifth package into the fifth hive this morning, or today. Um, we got all five in, we did it two different ways. I'm keeping a log on all five hives to see, uh, as the course of the year goes by, what hives produce better, what hives uh, last longer. Uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff that we're gonna keep track of. And hopefully, in other episodes, we'll have some other people that, as I had said earlier, that are much smarter and much better beekeepers than me, but I think this is a pretty good start. And we'll be back in the next episode to look into the hives to see what the bees are producing. And until then, we'll see you then.